So I've been, you know, for a while now, um, because one of the reasons I love using Lightroom is because I can easily add my watermark on countless number of pictures, on many pictures at once, my watermark, my signature. So I take um, the pictures I take in church and uh, some wedding pictures. I can't be putting my watermark on the one after the other. So for some other events, several other events that I have to make watermarks for, for the events for these uh, programs, most of these watermarks, they are just on my Lightroom, um, the watermark place, you know, where you have, they're just, they're much. So I've been looking for a way to just get rid of most of these other watermarks that are irrelevant again. Past events, I need to just delete them. So I've been finding it difficult and then I discover how to do it. So on Lightroom, let me show you how you can easily delete unwanted watermarks. It will actually make your work more organized and you even be happy with yourself. So let me show you. Let's go. Thank you. Lightroom like this. And, um, so go to your file um, edits. Then you come to edit templates. So with all of that, you edit template, go to edit templates. So and please guys don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, so now you can write an example, you know, copyright like that. And at first, if you have this type of you know different templates and all you won't be able to delete so let me make an example let me write youtube so i will save this and um, just to show us an example so um, you can save then you save with any name you really want at the end of the day you save with anything you want so now adjust it any how you want it you can easily even up, um, if you have a signature on your system you can easily import it you go to the graphics then click on ok go to where you have it located on on your pc or your uh, mac then you bring it into it just i can use this as an example so you save then give, rename it to anything you want so you can easily it makes your work more organized you know so that any other time you want to make use of it now let's go back come to your file then um you can export because those are just like the two major way at which you can use in coming to this uh, place and come back to your file edit the templates so now you can see the different templates i have already because from the, my past work and all you won't see delete option there is no delete option here so how do i get rid of so how do i get rid of all of these ones that i don't use anymore so what you do is you click on one come back so when you then you go back to that same place again when you come down you see delete so that's how you have to do so come down now you see delete so you delete so and that's what you do to all of them just select one select it come back again then go back to the same to the same one when you come down you see delete option then we are good to go okay thank you all right so guys thank you i guess that video was helpful you know in one way or the other i know you are pro and then you learn you know you learn at every point in time let's let's keep on learning so if you think there is actually another method i can use or any other person can use you know you can just drop it in the comment section let other people learn let me learn a new method because i'm open to learning i'm very 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 much open to learning so thank you for watching this tutorial see you next time don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel pascal concept photography and don't forget to click on the notification icon button that bell so you'll be the first to receive notification any moment i upload a new video thank you bye